This is Patrice Wenling at the Eastern Association for the Surgery of Trauma speaking with Dr. Brian Brewer, who presented some data on motorcycle helmets. We did the study um, because there's a lot of literature out there saying that there's a reduction in traumatic brain injuries when you wear a helmet. But all of those studies just compare helmets to no helmets. We noticed that our patients were coming in with different helmet types and they ranged from just the bucket type which only covered the cranium to those who cover the full, fa the full craniofacial area known as the full face helmets. And so we wondered whether could we reduce the facial trauma involved in motorcycle collisions if we provided a greater degree of protection to the, to the face. Therefore we proposed a study that would compare full face helmets to all of the helmet types to see if there was a difference. And what did you find when you looked at it? Did you find significant changes in, and also in TBI? We did find significant changes. We found that there was a reduction, a statistically significant reduction in the number of facial fractures when patients wore full face helmets versus other helmet types. We also found that there was a statistically significant difference in the number of skull fractures. They were less in patients who wore uh, full face type helmets versus any other helmet type. What we found in t traumatic brain injuries is that although it almost cut the risk of traumatic brain injury in half, this was not statistically significant. And it's the same thing with mortality. Although there was a high relative risk reduction, it was not statistically significant either. Was this because of the size of the study or what you think, what do you think might be going on there? Yes, I think if we enroll more subjects in the study, then these two things, traumatic brain injury and mortality, will uh, achieve statistical significance. However, we didn't reach the, uh, the projected power of the study, which was 100, 180 subjects, and we only enrolled 151 subjects. Now, it's hard sell to get people to wear helmets in the first place. How are you going to get them to wear the uh, full face helmets, doctor? All right, so this is the first uh, study that we've seen of this type in the literature. And so we will use this and further studies to uh, prove to the Department of Transportation that there should be a minimum standard in helmets. Once we can affect the legislature, then we can actually uh, go out to the public and say, listen, this is the law and this is what you have to do. Did you find any difference in who was actually wearing the more uh, protective helmets than those who were not? Yes, interestingly enough, um, older individuals were the ones wearing the other helmet types, which uh, in, according to our study, provides you at a greater risk of injury when there's a motorcycle collision. The younger patients were wearing the full face helmets, which provide more protection. Why do you think that might be? You think it would be the other way around? Kids are risk takers. Yes, and I think that's part of the reason we found that. I think the older patients do not see themselves as taking risks. They usually ride Cruiser, Harley Davidsons, and they usually obey the speed limits and not taking any risks. The younger patients, I think, uh, this is only my opinion, they go out with the intent to take risks, the intent to drive faster, and they want to maximally protect themselves if there's an injury. So there is a bit of a good message there. The kids may be actually listening. Yes. Thank you, doctor. Very much appreciate your time. All right, thank you.